So Justin, tell me about negative gearing. Yeah, negative gearing is something we talked about a lot many years ago and it seemed to just not be so prevalent on, on the minds of investors. Uh, now it's becoming more important to consider and think about. The reason is and why this change is because of interest rates. Interest rates used to be very high. We all remember the Banana Republic, the, um, in, the recession we had to have. Interest rates were at 18% and then it dropped down to something ridiculous like I think it was one and a half percent, two percent, and now it's started to rise again. So negative gearing is something which is becoming more of a talking point. What it means is you're actually making a loss. So the interest rates and the cost of say borrowing to buy a property is greater than the income from the rental. Now why would you do it? The reason is because you get a tax deduction for that and you'd offset against say your income from paying a salary at 47 percent. So the loss, let's say you made a $10,000 loss, you'll get $4,700 of that back if you're on the top margin, over $180,000 of income. So and say if you were $190,000 of income, that $10,000 of, of a loss, you would get $4,700 back, which sounds great, you're still making a loss. Now why would you do that? The only reason you would do that is if you expect to make a gain in a future date, which is a capital gain. Now, property prices, we all think always go up and that's probably the reason why people do it. It certainly is over history, it has gone up. I'm not a financial planner, but that gain you would expect over in, a, in say five, 10 years time, 10 years time could double. So you, you're dealing with a significant gain and in that meantime, you've had access to paying that lower tax rate or getting that tax refund, I should say, from your loss. So now it's going to become more obvious and more of a interest to high income earners to try to reduce their taxes by building up their portfolio of assets and mostly properties and then getting a tax deduction and selling at a later date, maybe in their retirement. Um, interest rates when they were so low, it was very hard to do negative gearing because the interest rates were so low, everybody made money on property on the, on the rentals. Um, so, you know, that's why now it's becoming something that you'll hear more and more about, negative gearing again.